In this cool little video, I'm going to show you how I made this cool little bear. It's a Harry Potter bear made at Build-A-Bear Workshop, except it isn't really a Harry Potter bear because it's a Ravenclaw like me. So let's head on over to Build-A-Bear Workshop and I'll show you exactly what I did. First of all, I started out by getting there and then we went into the shop and I saw immediately the exact bear I wanted. Sort of. He doesn't have glasses, see? So then I went over and picked up a skin. They kind of seem like almost bear skins, almost like they've just been rendered flesh. That's the thing, right? So first off, you start out by picking up a completely deflated bear. I didn't even know these things were a thing. Or if you take the stuffing out of a bear, which is a horrific thought for any child, then that's what this thing looks like. But it's completely naked. I should probably censor that bit. So next up we need to stuff him and we've got this massive machine which is full of fluff. It's not candy floss, although it looks quite nice to eat. Um, it's probably not going to be. So he shoved this pipe into his legs and into his back and into his arms and all of that sort of stuff and firm him up a bit. Mine was a little bit too firm so I had to take out some of the stuffing. And the next thing we can do is to pick a sound which goes into his hand. And I did that while the lady was stuffing my bear, which sounds totally wrong, I know. But we'll get onto the sound in just a moment. Next up was to pick a heart for my bear, and I thought this nice little red one would be quite good, rather than the sort of checkered one. Don't know why anyone would pick a checkered one, but you know, it's a personal preference. Unfortunately, they had sold out of really nice scents for my bear. I want a strawberry scent, so I might have to go back and get one of those. I might do an update video, but it'll probably be a short if I do. Okay, so my bear is pretty much done. The lady was stitching up his back, which again is a very medical procedure for a teddy bear, I suppose. After that, we went on over to the clothing section so that we can start clothing my bear. Okay. I picked out a wand, obviously. He needs a wand because he's a wizard bear. Then because he's in Ravenclaw, I'm going to give him a scarf and a hat. I thought he probably does need glasses, because surely Harry Potter can't be the only person at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry to wear glasses. Although he does seem to be the only one in the movies and in the books that's mentioned as having glasses, you would have thought wizards would be able to sort that out, right? Oculus Repero on his actual eyes would probably be more effective. We also need a set of Hogwarts School robes, so I've decided to buy those two. We head on over to the till, we pay for it, we get a birth certificate, and this is where it gets fun. So I've actually named this bear already. He's got a birth certificate, which is just here. And I've blurred out the name deliberately. So let's see, just for fun, if you can guess the name, put it down in the comments and let's see if you're right. I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to my awesome wife, Laura, for buying this bear for me. It was a complete present, completely off the cuff and totally uh, unplanned, I think. So I am extremely grateful for it. Um, we had a great time making it. If you head on over to Build a Bear, by the way, you might also have some fun. This video is not sponsored, it's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you again next time with some more magical awesomeness. But until next time, as always, stay magical! <laughs>